Hari Om, Shri Guru Bhyo Namaha. Detach from the lower and attach to the higher. Satsangatve Nisangatvam, Nisangatve Nirmohatvam. Verse 9 of Pajakavindam gives us this beautiful journey by which we can uplift ourselves. Satsang, the company of the good, helps us detach from the lower tendencies, inspires us to break bad habits. And when we start to taste the joy of doing these things, we prefer the higher living. When people start exercising and doing yoga, then the results are so immense that it makes them want to keep doing it. When someone quits smoking and feels the improvement in the health, then they want to continue not to smoke. I knew a lady once who, when she stopped drinking Diet Coke, her memory improved significant and she found herself to be far more efficient at work. She went around campaigning against Diet Coke for the next two or three years. Detachment from these objects then help us see clearly. Nisangatwe nirmohatwam. When we attached, we're not able to see clearly. When a person is smoking, even though they know it's bad for them, they're not able to actually see it. Or they make excuses and make light of it like, oh, anyways, we're going to die, so I'll die earlier than the rest of you. That clarity or of the consequences of the action is not there, even though logically they understand it. When we attach to a person too, we don't see them clearly. We usually see them in a more favorable light. We don't see it with our own attachments, but we see it with other people. When a friend is dating someone and praises them so extensively, and we're thinking, they're really not that great. Or when parents or grandparents start praising their kid, even though it's cute, we know to take it with a pinch of salt. And sometimes it can be even annoying, because they'll say things like, he's such a sweet boy, he's just tired today. And you're thinking, he seems to be tired every day then. When we attach to it, we can't see it for what it is. We don't want to see it for what it is. The biggest example of this comes in the Mahabharata. Dhritarashtra is born blind and so could not be made the king. His brother Pandu got the kingdom. Pandu unfortunately dies early, but leaves a lineage. The eldest son of Pandu, Yudhishthira, is therefore the rightful heir to the throne. But Dhritarashtra's son, having seen his father at the throne, wants to be the king. Any father would want to see their son be successful, see their son be happy. And Dhritarashtra, even more, wanted to have his son as the king because he felt he was robbed from it, even though he sat at the throne for many years. When his son comes up with a plot to kill the Pandavas, not a small thing, not cheat them of money, not hurt or humiliate, but kill them. As a father, he could see very clearly that it's wrong, it's unfair, it's unjust. And yet, because of his attachment to his son, he doesn't stop them. Without verbally doing so, he almost gives permission for them to go ahead and kill the Pandavas. Attachment blinds us. And the character of this drashtra being physically blind is symbolic of how blinding attachment is. In the Mahabharata too, we see the character of Dronacharya. For those of you who are familiar with the story, Drona is seen as somewhat noble. He fights the Mahabharata war, and the reasoning for being on the side of the Kauravas, the unjust side, is that he has loyalty to them, for they have looked after him for so many years. But when we see in the battlefield, Drona hears that his son, Ashwatthama, is killed. Drona puts down his weapons and accepts death. And that moment we see 
Drona wasn't fighting out of any sense of duty or any sense of gratitude to the kingdom that had looked after him and his family. He was fighting out of attachment for his son. Attachment can completely rule the personality we are and make us do everything we know is not correct. It doesn't allow us to see clearly and act as per clear vision. In our everyday life, this becomes very, very crucial in how we live our life. But in our spiritual life, it's even more significant. For our greatest attachment is to our own body. And because we are attached to this body, we don't see clearly who we are. The scriptures tell us again and again, we are infinite truth. We are a soul living, having this physical experience. But because we are so attached to our body, to our mind, our opinions, our likes, our dislikes, our insecurities, because we become attached to this limited identity of who we think we are at this moment in time, we are not able to see who we really are. Attachment blinds us. In satsang, we develop detachment. With detachment, we develop a clear vision. Nirmohatwe nischalatatman. And when we develop this clear vision, nischalatatwe jivan mukti, we will be able to accomplish the goal of every birth to achieve enlightenment here and now. Jivan mukti is that. So, who while living, drops the limitations of being an individuality and experiences infinite. The only obstacle in me being infinite is my attachment. How willing are we to let it go? Think about it. Talks from Swamini Supriyananda and other excellent teachers of the Chinmaya Mission. You can subscribe to ChinmayaClicks.com. That's Chinmaya C L I X.com. You can also visit the Chinmaya channel on YouTube for bite sized inspiration and discourses on in depth Vedantic texts. To know about local classes, activities, and upcoming retreats, visit www.chinmayamission.com. And see you on the next podcast.